on her way. She just went to the shop. She'll be on her way, Maharaj. I'm just holding All right, her. Okay, thank you. One day, Shri Gurun Vaishnavamsha Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sagana Ruvatam Vitam Tam Sajiva Sadvaitam Sadvadutam Parijana Sahitam Jusra Chaitam Erevam Shri Radha Krishna Bhavam Sarvita Shri Chaka Nidamsha Om Ajjan Sajiram Tachya Gyananta Sadataya ಅವದಾರ್ಯಮಾರುಣ <laughs> First of all, I offer my billions of obeisances to Lotus Feet of Asmati Guru Path Padma, Vitala Prashta Jagat Guru Shishim and Bhaktivedan to Narayana Goswami Maharaj, Rindi Swami Shishim and Bhaktivedan to Dendi Maharaj, Nam Mr. Santashi and Nirudas Prabhuji, all the Vaishnavas and Vaishnavas are gathered here. They accept my humble obeisances. This astonishing prema simultaneously magnifies the contrary experiences of burning in separation and being cooled by the sweetness of a Spurti. When it makes its appearance in its reservoir, the devotee's heart, and when it develops slightly, the devotee is scorched by the fiercely blazing arrow <coughs> of his intense and relentless craving to directly meet Bhagwan. The intensity of his eagerness is such that a Spurti of the sweetness of Bhagavan's forms and pastimes no longer satisfies. In this state of content, discontent, Keith and Keen appear to be appear to the Previ Bhakta to be like a dark, dried up well, his own house like a thorny jungle. And even taking a meager amount of foodstuffs feels like a mighty assault. Praised by saintly persons feels like the bite of a poisonous snake. And mundane daily duties are like death. His every limb uh, feels burdensome. Consolation from confidence feels like a shower of poison. His constant wakefulness is an ocean of repentance. And whatever little sleep he gets makes him feel that he has squandered his life. Even having a body seems like bearing a punishment meted out by the Lord and his life breath feels as useless as paddy that has been repeatedly burned. Whatever he previously constantly cherished is now an utter disruption. Not to speak of anything else, even any thought of Bhagavan devastates him. Yushavashna Vrati. At the stage of Rati Bhava, the sadhaka becomes totally immersed in the bliss of severing his worshipable deities, beautiful form and qualities as pursued in a spurti. After Prema has awakened, <clears throat> after Prema has awakened, however, it is not possible for him to be mesmerized by savoring the madhujya obtained in a spurti. At that time, a tremendous eagerness to attain Sri Krishna directly arises in the heart of the Premi Bhakta. That thing known as Prema is exceedingly astonishing beyond compare and known only by direct experience language is incapable of describing it unless this prema has appeared in one's heart one cannot fully understand it simply by hearing about it from another <clears throat> because one's capacity to grasp its meaning depends on realization <laughs> at the stage of prema for receiving a spurti of sri krishna and thus relishing his beautiful form, qualities, and so on, the devotees simultaneously experiences an intense eagerness and a charming tranquility. This experience produces an indescribably blissful anguish in the heart of the Premi Bhakta. This has been described in Sri Chaitanya Charita Amrit Madhya Lila 2.5050. Bhaire Visha Jvalahaya Bhitare Anandamaya 
कृष्ण प्रेम अद्भुत चरित प्रेम आस्वादन तत्त इक्षु चर्वण मुख ज्वल न जायत जन से प्रेम जार मने तार विक्रम से जाने विषामृते एकत्र उंडरस्टैंडाइन न्यायन्ते स्फुटम अस्य वक्र मधुरास्ते नैव विक्रांतया Purnamasi Devi said to Nandi Mukhi, "My dear beautiful friend, if a person develops prema in his heart for the son of Sri Ramana Maharaj, then that prema is able to directly understand prema's power. The suffering resulting from that prema defeats the severe effect of fresh kalakut poison. But when the ecstasy of prema begins to flow, it belittles the pride that comes from delighting in the sweetness of nectar." The heart of the devotee moves between the realities of unprecedented bliss and unprecedented pain. Finally, due to the intensity of devotee's eagerness to meet Sri Krishna directly, all bliss is pulverized and the agony of separation manifests in full force. Through refined poetry filled with marvelous literary embellishments, the revered author has described the mental and bodily symptoms. of the premi bhakta upon the manifestation of prema the striking image he portrays of the premi bhakta's eagerness and distress is incomparable he has described how due to the premi bhakta's acute anxiety all actions of the body even his meditation on bhagwan which previously filled him with bliss now cause him to burn within producing intolerable agony In the absence of Sri Krishna, the condition of the Premi Bhakta is like that of a living fish out of water. In separation from Bhagwan, the entire universe appears completely void. Shrinya Arti Vila Sarvam Mubin Nadine Irani. She is shocked. Attracted by his devotee's prema, Bhagwan gives his direct darshan and manifests his sweetness, Madhurja. Tadasya Premiva. चुंबकी भाव आपद्य कार्षणसी भूत आकृष्ण भक्त से नयन गोचरी करोति तत्र च सौंदर्य सौरभ्य सौस्वर्ज सौकुमर्ज सौर सौरस्य कारुण्यानी Um, thereafter, the magnet of prema attracts the iron like Sri Krishna, and at any time brings him directly before the devotee's vision. Sri Bhagwan then makes the supremely auspicious qualities of his parupa, his beauty, sundarja, his fragrance, saurabhya, his sweet voice, sauswarja, his tender touch, sauko marja. The savour of his lips, saurasya, his magnanimity, audarja, and his compassion, karunya, 
perceivable to the eyes and other senses of the devotees. One receives the direct person of Bhagavan only when one's eagerness combines with the prema in one's heart. It is not possible by any other means. The darshan that the demons who are bereft of prema received at the time of Bhagavan's manifest pastimes cannot be said to be actual darshan because without having severed Bhagavan's delightful sweetness, Madhuri, any darshan of him amounts to no darshan at all. It is just like the tongue of a godly sponsor being unable to enjoy sweet foodstuffs. It's for testing them directly, just as a magnet naturally attracts iron, similarly, prema, the essential function of the Lordly Shakti, attracts Sri Krishna and makes him perceptible to the eyes of the devotee. Astonishingly, Sri Krishna enjoys the bliss of his devotee more than he delights in the bliss of his own Swarupa. Srila Vishnaji Thakur writes in his commentary on Srimad Bhagavatam 9.4.64. Mat Swarupa Bhutananda Api Mat Bhakta Swarupa Nanda Ati Smuhaniya Iti Dvayor Api Chid Dukekva Abhi Bhakta Vartinya Bhaktir Anudrahaksha Chid Vritti Vipaka Rupa Yaha Sarva Chid Sara Bhutatvan Mamananda Swarupaksati Ananda Ananda Kadwad Akarsatwa Acha. So when Narayan said to Dukasa, O Brahman, even more desirable to me than my own intrinsic bliss is the inherent bliss of my devotee. The bliss of Prima Vilisan. On the both intrinsic bliss, Rupananda, and the bliss of Prema, Premananda, in the heart of my devotee as transcendental. This Premananda is manifest within a devotee by the mercy of an exalted saintly personality, is a matured state of his heart's disposition. Just as thick cream is measured, is the matured state of milk which is liquid. And it is the essence of everything spirit. It gives bliss even to me, the embodiment of bliss and attraction. The most merciful Sri Bhagavan becomes visible to the eyes of his eager Premi Bhakta and witnesses the Premi Bhakta's immense thirst to delight in his sweetness. Bhagavan therefore allows his Premi Bhaktas to sever his own incomparable Swarupa, the very treasure of Prema, his beautiful form fragrance, sound, touch, and taste. Through their eyes, nostrils, ears, sense of touch and tongue. He also causes them to sever within their heart his own qualities such as his boundless humility and mercy. One G, the inexpressible bliss arising from the person of Bhagavan. Tensham, Shaparama, Madhuratve, Nityanavatve, Asana Devi Hunga Premaneva Pravartamane Pratikshana Vardishna Ot Kanthayam Chako Api Ananda Mahodadir Avir Bhavan Narhati Kavi Saraswati Lakutya Parimetam Yathahi Ati Nividatara Vitapadala Kula Pravalita Maha Nyakroda Talasya Sura Dirgika Hima Salila Sambruta Ghata Shatavala Hita Tatasyati Shishiratve Tad Ashraitur Janasacha Tapartu Tarani Kirana Tapta Marusarani Maha Pantatvecha Tata Kadam Bi Ghana Sarasya Paratva Ivata Abhishicha Manasya Vana Matanga Jasya 
चिरंतना दव दवतु महारोग महारोग शतवत्ते शतवत्ते सदा लोरुपत्वे यस तदात्मिक आनंद स एव दिग्दर्शना All these qualities are supremely sweet and ever fresh. And for the devotee who delights in them with prema, a deep, ever increasing eagerness awakens. Thus, an immense ocean of bliss rises within the devotee, the extent of which is no poetic genius, the extent of which no poetic genius is able to describe. The following comparisons give some idea of the ecstasy experienced by a Premi Bhakta. The elation, number one, the elation of a traveler who having long traversed a desert path, source, scorched by the rays of the summer sun, comes upon the shade of an enormous banyan tree, thick with foliage on the bank of Ganga. That place is drenched with ice cold water kept in hundreds of pots under the tree. Number two, the elation of wild elephants that have long suffered a blazing forest fire when torments, when torrents of rain finally pour down from a cloud bank. Number three, the elation of a person who, having been afflicted with numerous chronic illnesses and craving to experience taste, finally savors sweet ambrosia. You should see. Just as these qualities are more charming than even the most charming. They are also ever fresh, like a stream of water. Therefore, at every second, intense eagerness or thirst increases in the heart of the devotee. As his thirst increases, his relish of these qualities increases proportionately. And the more he relishes, the more his thirst increases. The result of this enormous is that, premi, that the Premi Bhakta continuously rises and sinks in the Ocean of Bhagwan's delectable sweetness. His bitterness and his relish are so inexpressible that no poet can capture it by any method of composition. Nevertheless, the exalted author is illuminating this point with some analogies. Number one, a traveler's overwhelming joy when, after having trudged along a desert path, scorched by the hot rays of the summer sun, he reaches the shade of a gigantic leafy banyan tree under which there are hundreds of pots of ice cold Ganga water. Number two, an elephant's delight when being caught in and scorched by a forest fire, bathed in incessant torrents of rain, spilling out of dense clouds. Number three, the bliss of one suffered thousands of grave illnesses and years to experience test upon drinking supremely sweet and good. These comparisons are employed to give a small suggestion of the bliss experienced by the Premi Bhakta. Text 2. Bhagwan reveals his beauty, saundarja, and fragrance, saurabhya. Tatra prathamam labdha para chamatkarasya bhaktasya lochanayo sa saundarjam prakashyati. Prabhuna Tatastam Madhuryena Sarvendriyana Manasascha Lochana Mai Bhave Pravartite Sthamba Kampa Pashva Divi Krita Vignascha Tasyananda Krita Murchayam Jatayam Prabhodetum Iva Dutiyam Saurabhyam Tadiya Granen Rishu Prakashate Tena Pitesham Grana Mai Bhave Dithiya Murcharande Bhavanwad. First, Shri Bhagavan Manifest Saundarja before the eyes of the utterly astonished devotee. 
the influence of Bhagwan's sweetness as it manifests before the devotee's sense of sight is such that all the devotee senses, even his mind, become like eyes. The devotee's darshan is interrupted by ecstatic transformations, sattvika vikar, such as becoming stunned, horrification, and tears, and in bliss he loses consciousness. At that time, in order to revive the devotee, Bhagavan reveals his second sweetness, his bodily fragrance, sovrapya, which permeates the devotee's sense of smell. Again, by the influence of Bhagavan's extraordinarily sweet bodily aroma, all the devotee's senses take on the function of spills, and he begins to lose consciousness for the second time. Yushavarshini Bharti, the most merciful Sri Bhagavan, bestows his darshan upon the anxious Premi Bhakta. It is said that Bhagavan causes the devotee's eyes, nose, ears, sense of touch, and tongue to relish his five qualities of beauty, Sandarcha, fragrance, Sauravdhya, sweet voice, Soswarja, soft and tender touch, Sokumarja, and the taste of his lips, Saurasya. Moreover, he causes the hearts of his Premi Bhaktas to also relish such qualities as his magnanimity, Audarja, and compassion, Karunya. Here, Sri Vishnathar Thakur explains the causes of these qualities manifesting in the senses of the Premi Bhaktas and the sequence in which they do so. First, Sri Bhagavan manifests his boundless beauty to the eyes of the Premi Bhakta, which is eager for his darshan. Krishna Rupam Ruta Sindhu just as just one drop from a wave of the nectarian ocean of Sri Krishna's beauty can flood the entire world. As the nectar ocean of Sri Krishna's beauty rises before the eyes of the ingeniously eager devotees, all his sensory faculties assemble in his eyes. Craving to be craving, craving to behold Sri Krishna's charming form. This means that the beauty of Bhagavan is so sweet, so astonishing, that it is beyond a devotee's capacity to relish it with only two eyes. Therefore, all his senses now act like eyes, so that he can take in that answer beauty. Uh, upon doing so, he faints in ecstasy. Bhagavan reveals his mellow voice, so swarja. And the tenderness of his touch, so so margin. Are mad bhakta tavaham eva sampadya mano asti ma vivali gur nishkamam nikamam maam anuhava iti tritiyam so swarjam shravanendriya grahyam avir bhavyate. Una stena pi tesham shravanamai bhave, trutiya murchopa krame, krupaya, charanara vindena, pani bhyam urascha, swasparsham, datva, turtham, swa saukumar yam, asava, anu bhavyate, tatra dasa bhavatas, tasa murghi. Sakshya-bhāvata-pāṇyo-pāṇyo-vāksalya-bhāvata-sva-kara-pale-nāśru-mārjanam-prayasi-bhāvata-stu-urasi-sva-vakṣasā-bāhu-bhyām-asneśā
him from passion, restore the experience of his poor sweetness. Render touch, so kumarja, of his lotus feet, hands or chest. Bhagwan awards the touch of his feet to the head of those devotees who are in the mood of servitude. He takes the hands of the devotees who are in fraternal love in his own lotus like hands. He wipes away with his hands the tears of his devotees imbued with tender affection. And he embraces with his two arms those devotees imbued with amorous love, touching their chest to his, which is marked with Sri Vatsa. In this way, it should be understood that Bhagwan manifests his tender touch according to the bhav of the devotee. The devotee then loses consciousness for a fourth time. In order to test the exquisite uh, sweetness of Bhagwan's bodily fragrance, his charming, melodious flute, his tenderness, and so on, all the senses of a devotee gather in one place. To trace the sweetness of his beautiful form, all the devotee's senses become like eyes. To hear the sweetness of his melodious voice, all of his senses become like ears. In this way, the senses lose their original functions. Merciful Sri Bhagwan makes the devotee's life successful by bestowing his complete charming sweetness upon him, allowing the devotee to relish the type of sweetness conducive to his particular mood. Bhagwan satisfies the devotee's intense longing. To see, Bhagwan reveals the sweetness of his test, saurasya, and his magnanimity of darja. Chaturta Maha Murcha Rambe Panchamam Swadhara Sammandhi Saurasyam Tadiya Rasanendriya Grahyam Preyasi Bhavavati Eva Tatkala Pradurhuta Tad Avishta Avishta Karavati Bhaktajana Eva Prakashate Nanyatra Tatasha Purvavat Eva Tatha Tatha Bhavi Api Tada Tanas Tanyas Tu Ananda Murcha Murchayas Tu Ati Ati Navi De Jate Tatha Prabhu Raitum Asamarthe Neva Bhagavata ंगीता अति संवर्धयुगपदेवानंदमुद्रशत लहरी व्यति समर्द भर जजरित्वम इवतस्य अंतह निर्मिमाणेन स्वयं एव साकारतन मनो अधिदैवति भवत भवतेव तथा स्वशक्तिर वितिर्यते यथा योग After this, as the Pranibhakta Bhakta begins to fall into a full deep swoon, Sri Bhagavan manifests his fifth Madhurja, namely the sweet of his lips, which the devotee servers. He reveals the confidential aspect of this charming sweetness to those in the mood of female sweetheart. He does not reveal it to everyone. To others, he reveals this sweetness appropriately according to their desire. 
as before the devout experience of losing consciousness in these ecstatic moods reaches such magnificent depths that Bhagwan, unable to revive the devotee by any other means, bestows the sixth Madhubhya, his magnanimity of that jam, his forceful and simultaneous bestowal of the charming sweetness of all the previously mentioned qualities such as beauty upon the eyes and other senses of the Premi Bhakta is his quality of magnanimity. At that time, Rema, understanding the indication of Sri Bhagavan, increases exponentially and causes the devotees hankering to swell accordingly. In this way, Bhagavan accepts the role of the moon and powerfully agitating the ocean of bliss within the devotee's heart. He manifests hundreds upon hundreds of ways, buffeting and simultaneously overwhelming it. He then beautifully reshapes it. In this way, he personally moves the devotee's mind as its desired duty, expanding its energy in such a manner that the devotee now, unintended by tears, sprinting and so on, begins to simultaneously test in the core of his heart the sweetness of all of Bhagavan's qualities such as beauty. As the devotee begins to lose consciousness for a fourth time, Sri Bhagavan manifests in Mahapuja, his saurasya, or the nectar of his nerves, the devotee's sense of test. The devotee is in the mood of servitude and so on, he gives the remnants of his footsteps a chewed betterment. The devotee is in the mood of amorous love, or the mood of a female sweetheart, he bestows the wish on his, of his Madhuja in accordance with the devotee's inner hankering. The sheer echo of his mother causes the devotee to fall into a deep swoon. Seeing no other way to revive him, Bhagavan manifests his sixth Madhurja, his magnanimity of Darja, and thus allows the devotee's five sense organs, eyes, nose, ears, skin, to simultaneously perceive his beauty, pangra, sweet voice, tender tempest. At that time, upon receiving an indication from Bhagavan, Prema swells tremendously in the devotee. Consequently, the devotee experiences an upsurge of or eagerness, just as the rising moon turns and agitates the ocean, causing various waves to rise. So Bhagwan turns and agitates the ocean of the devotee's bliss by manifesting potency within the devotee. This potency allows the devotee to relish all five kinds of Madhurya at once. 2D. Bhagwan reveals his inconceivable potency, achinte shakti. Nachayivam manaso anekagrapena Tat-tat-asvadasya-nandre-diti-vacham-pratyuta-sandarja-sasvaryadin-prati-sarvendriyam-eva-nayani-bhava-shtavani-bhavadya-ekadaiva-vodhuyamalokika-chintya-dhuk
since all such transcendental subject matters are beyond the comprehension of mundane logic and reasoning. As stated in the Shastra Mahabharata Vishnu Parva, Ajinta Kalu Yinghava Natam Sarki I should never attempt to understand inconceivable matters. The characteristics of the inconceivable is that it is a material nature. Yusha Varshini Vritti. It is inappropriate to maintain the following doubt. A devotee can be at a time, but since he has only one mind, how can he simultaneously relish all five kinds of Madhurja to his five senses? Seriously, relishing the five kinds of Madhurja requires darshan in five sense objects. It is impossible for of the senses to relish that Madhurja deeply. In reality, Sri Bhagwan, by the power of his Ajakti, enables all the senses of the devotee to concurrently attain the function of sight, hearing, and so on, like before, and also gives him the power to deeply relish his five madhuryas. In other words, by the power of Sri Bhagwan's Achinti Shakti, the devotee experiences no impediment relishing simultaneously Bhagwan's five types of madhuryas. This section lies beyond the grasp of mundane logic and reason. That's three. Since the devotee is unable to experience the complete sweetness of Bhagavan, Bhagavan expands his compassion, Karunya. Satascha Sandarya Dinam Yavanti Adhuryani Tisham Samastena Anubhavu Sashava Api Asmin Bhakta Chatara Chanchi Pute Jarada Bindva Ava Liva Nam Shaho Tarhi Mani Sandaryadini Gita Vati Kim Artham Dhritaniti Tesham Sambho Janaiva Sambham Banuva. The devotee then desires to experience in full all the varieties of Madhuri, which is in Shri Bhagavan, such as his beauty and his fragrance. However, just as the beak of a Chataka bird cannot hold all the raindrops that fall from the cloud, the devotee is in Bhagavan's sweetness. Attributes. Just to help the devotee relish those attributes in full, which is seven sweetness, is quality of compassion, karunya, yushavashne vritti, the thirst or anxiousness that arises from the pure love of the devi bhakta, is so strong that he develops an intense desire to fully relish all of Bhagavan's adhujas simultaneously, beginning with his beauty. On the arrival of monsoon rain clouds, the Chataka bird, passed from the summer heat, desires to drink the entire torrential downpour. But how can he do so with his tiny beak? Similarly, when Sri Bhagwan sees the fervent Premi Bhakta testing, but a mere drop of his unlimited beauty and sweetness, he thinks if this Premi Bhakta is unable to savor my Madhurjas in full, then they serve no purpose. Thinking in this way, Bhagavan bestows upon the Premi Bhakta his seven Madhurja, his companion, Karunya. 3B, Karunya, Bhagavan's foremost potency. Sarva Shakti Kadamba Paramad Dakshasya. Sarva Shakti Kadamba Paramad Dakshaya Dakshaya Agamadava Api. Vimalot Karshini Karshini Adinam Ashtadik Daleshu 
वर्तमशक्ति मध्य कर्णीकायां महाराज चक्रवर्ति इव स्थिता This quality of Karunya, compassion, is foremost among all Sri Bhagwan's potencies. She presides over Sri Bhagwan's eight intrinsic potencies, such as Vimala, Utkarshini, and so on, mentioned in the Agama scriptures. These potencies are present as petals on eight sides of the. pericarp of a lotus in which the karunya potency is situated in full splendor like a universal monarch for meditation on the energy of bhagwan the agama the nagar vedic just bhagwan eight potencies in with the potency of purity vimala shakti are situated in the petals of an eight petal lotus located in the pericarp of that lotus is a विमलोत्कर्षिणी ज्ञानी शक्तया प्रवी सत्या तथे अनुग्रहानवी स्मृता हरिवर्ति लाइव पॉइंट वन फोर्टी एट एनर्जी विमला उत्कर्षिणी ज्ञान ज्ञान क्रिया योग प्रवी ये प्रवी फुटनोट से दैट अकॉर्डिंग टू श्री जीव गोस्वामी The Pravi got a root cause of Bhagwan's being unlimitedly capable. Hmm? That is called Pravi Pravi potency. Hmm? Pravi Satya Isha Na remains situated upon the eight petals of the lotus. Gracefully resplendent within the wall of the lotus is the ninth potency called the Anugraha Shakti or the Compassion potency, which rules over the other eight potencies as their presiding goddess. see the mercy potency manifests herself the devotee through this ki agraha bhagwan treno bhagavato nayana rindaiva atma anam मान रंजिता परमा परमात्मा रामान अभी महाचमत्कृति भूमि अध्यारोहती भानुआ Bhagwan's potency of compassion, known as Anugraha, is ever manifest herself through his loving eyes, sometimes as affection, salve, and sometimes as compassion, karuni. To devotees in the mood of friendship and parenthood, and to devotees in the mood of a beloved, she manifests as that which attracts Krishna and melts his heart. Krishna, to this Krupa Shakti, mercy potency. Which arouses further sporty, playful aspects is given appropriate names elsewhere, such as Neha, Preeti, and Madhuri. It is by this Krupa Shakti alone that Bhagwan's all-pervasive desire potency, Ichcha Shakti, beautifully places the sad. Um, to the most astonishing platform, Yusha Vishnu Bharti. This Anugraha Shakti, the potency that bestows Bhagwan's favor, 
manifest from the lotus feet of Sri Bhagwan. In other words, Bhagwan's Krupa Shakti rains down upon the devotee through his merciful glance. This mercy potency manifests in the devotees in Dasyaras, Sakharas, and others as Krishna's affection for them. Bhakta Vatsalja and sometimes as his compassion, Karunya, and in the devotees in Madhu. Shakti, which melts his heart. Sometimes the manifestation of this Shakti is called Sneha, affection, and sometimes Priti, love, and sometimes Madhurja, charming sweetness. Driven by this mercy potency, Bhagavan Shri Hari's desire potency, Icha Shakti awakens an astonishment its qualities in, in the crest dwells of those who are Atmaram, self satisfied. It causes them to abandon their self-satisfied nature and make them devotees. Affection for the devotees is the emperor of all Bhagavan's qualities. Yaseva Bhagavato Bhaktavat Salyam Nama Eka Eva Gunaha Samrata Eva Pratamaskande Pratibhyoktan Sarupa Bhutan Satya Shauchadin Kalyana Gunan Shasti Pavanavad. This Krupa Shakti causes Sri Bhagavan's point. Shamo damas tapas samyam diksho parati shutam nyanam viraktir aishwarjam sauryam tejo balam smriti swatantram kaushalam kanti dhiryam mardav mardavam evacham kagalbhyam prasraya shilam Sa ojo balambara, gambiriyam, stadium, astikyam, kirtir, nahankruti. The following thirty nine qualities are there. self discussion santosh number 7 straightforwardness arjava or saralta number 8 steadiness of mind shamam number 9 control of the senses dhamma number 10 austerity Number 14, seeing through the eyes of scripture, Shrauta or Shast. Number 15, knowledge, Jnana. Number 16, detachment, Virakti. Number 17, Saurja. Number 19, splendor, Asia. Number 20, strength, Bala. Number 21, memory, Smurti. Number 22, independence, Sadhantrata. Number 23, dexterity in all activities. Kaushala. Number 24, beauty or Sandarja. Number 25, Dajja. Number 26, kind heartedness. Mardava. Number 27, boldness. Pagalpata. Number 8, politeness. Prashray or Vinay. Number 29, a pleasant nature. Shila or Susrabhava. Number 30, Revelation Saha. 
expertise of the mind and knowledge acquiring senses oja number 32 expertise of the working senses bala number 33 supreme fortune bhaga number 34 gravity gambhirja number 35 steadiness astikya aur shraddha number 37 fame kirti number 38 worthiness of worship man number 39 prideless anahankrut shehri's quality of affection for his devotee devotees reigns like an emperor all over these qualities in other words this quality is the principal authority that governs them all three key in shri bhagwan apparent faults are wondrous qualities mohastandra brahmo ruksha rasata kama unvana durata madamatse insa kheda parishramo asattam kroha आशंका विश्व विभ्रमाषमेशोधिताषादोषोषोधिताषादोषोधिताषादोषोधिताषादोषोधिताषादोषोधिताषादोषोधिताषादोषोधिताषादोषोधिताषादोषोधिताषादोषोधिताषादो
ਮਨ ਇਤਿ ਲਵਤ ਨਿਰਦਸ਼ ਤਾ ਸਮੂਲਾ ਦੇ ਵਿਗੁਰਨਿਤ ਲੋਚਨ ਜੀਸ਼ਨ ਬੁਧਾ ਸੋਸਤੂਦਾਨ ਵਨਮਾਲੀ ਇਤਿ
Hare Krishna Maharaj, we are on silent. Are you still on? Are you born, Maharaj? So, Akam Babusyam Prajayeva Ti Ado Jagat Ave Ave Rupa Vishwa Brahma Samam Sarvoteshu Name Dvesho Stina Priya. Ye Bajan Mam Bakta Manti Tishar Piham Am Bakta Paradino Iti Ado Parapiksha Chava Gaman Gamete Rukharasata Prema Sambandha Rute Ragaha Ulbano Dukkahe to Kamaha Tava Eto Mastam Tashcha Mohadinam Shodashanam Prama Dattvam Nirdosha Tatvam Patham Iti Chena Bhaktananda Vaichitra Oshaka Lila Vilasa Bhakta Samrakshana Bhakta Vatsalyadi Siddhai Prakruta Gandha Sushta Swarupa Dharma Evaite De Tan Vina Viladi Asiddhe Siddhaucha Utkano Patihi Itareshu, Sarveshu, Guneshu, Avava, Sadhakti, Anupapati, Shimon Bhagavatam, ten point thirteen point sixteen. Ato San Adrush Vaitya, Udine Picha, Patsapan, Ubhava Pi, Vane Krishna, Vichikaya, Samantataha. After this, upon not seeing the eyes on the bank, of the Yamuna, Shri Krishna began searching for them for all the first. Here we see illusion more. Shima Bhagavatam, 10th to 15th chapter, verse says, Kachit Pallava Talpeshu, Nir Shrama Karshitaha, Vruksha Mula Shraya Shere. Hana, fired from wrestling with his, with the covered boys, laid down in the shade of a tree on a bed made of soft leaves. He rested his head on a lap covered boy and fell asleep. Assitude, tandra, exertion, keda, and exertion, parishrama are perceived. Shiva Bhagavatam, uh, 10 chapter, 10 can, 8 chapter, 22nd verse. Tava angri imam, udha paritatvad, upe yadur, ati matro. Shri Baldev and Shri Krishna returned to their mothers, crawling, and bewildered and afraid. Here we see bewilderment, Brahma. Shri Bhagavatam, 10 Canto, 8 Chapter, 29th verse. Sang Manchan Kit Asamaye Krosha Sanjata Hasa. The motherly copies approached Mother Yashoda and said, Your son releases the cows untimely before the cows have been milked. And when we become upset, he simply chuckles here. Here we see restlessness, Lorata. Srimad Bhagavatam 10, 36th chapter, 24th verse, Madhavi Guranita, Dochana Ishad, Manada Sasrudan, Manamali, Manamali Shikam, who wears a garland of forest flowers, shows her favorite. With eyes that is with pride. See, we are stopping here our class of Madhuri Karan Mini. Number 416. Huh? 416. Next time, uh, we'll be uh, 417. Huh? So we start Madhuri Karan Mini. Uh, uh, so, um, From page number 417 on next class. Madhuri So this is a way. And that um, has been given. 
Um, so this is a very good book. And now we'll read as uh, we started as to discuss our um, Srimad Bhagavatam. Yeah? Srimad Bhagavatam. Srimad Bhagavatam is the Nigama Kalpataru Dalitam Salamukha Amrita Darvasvitam Nigata Bhagavatam Rasamal Yamura Rasika Bhagavatam. The Srimad Bhagavatam is the um, most important scripture. Huh? Therefore, um, we'll discuss Srimad Bhagavatam. Um, Narayana Maskurta Narayana Saraswati Vyas Pradeshu Vitam Bhagavatam Adyutama Shrevat Vava Kamara Pradeshu so Vedas has two of branches. Those type of sages. Or infallible lineage, they follow Ekans. Bhavanshaka Ekans Shaka the Sadhan. Srila Prabhupada is telling that this Bhavayan branch is different from Ekans branch. Ekans Paddhati may put on which are Ekans. In Satya Yuga, Srimad Bhagavatam told us some narrations of past times, but gradually those narrations became weaker later on. So then the divided. There were division of the Vedas into four parts and Varana Vibhag. Then also four varnas were created, Brankshatriya, Vaishya, Shudra, Ekapada Dharma. So as we know that the religion is actually having four legs. And the who signifies the religion, Dharma, Pool, is standing on four legs. But when austerity, which is one leg of the bull, one of the four legs, this becomes huh? then Ruk Sang Yeti Samhita Upanishad Vibhaya Adhiki Vichara Samhita Vichara Vata. So then, when the Ostrand then Ruk Ved, Sam Ved, Yudhu Ved, all these divisions were manifest. Upanishad. Huh? And also there were four Varanas were created. Means the Varana is called Brahman. Brahman means those who have the bend of uh, study. Those who are imparting knowledge to others, carrying the transcendental knowledge. Hmm? It's called Brahmana. A Kshatriya is actually ruling the element. And then his mercantile class by protecting um, lending, doing business, mercantile class. And then there is also Shudra. Shudras are. Uh, Serving others. Huh? So, Parichariyatma Karma Karma Shudra Karma Swahavaja. So, or under swan like class. First, the Karma became part of the Karma. Parma and Paramahansa Kalad. So, who's Paramahansa? Paramahansa means those who are not engaging in any fruity activities. Huh? A lot of fruity activity. What is fruity activity? The fruity activity is an endeavor to go to the heavenly planets. That's activity. But Paramahansas, they are devoid of such fruity activities. Hmm. And they always advance on the path of topmost uh, auspiciousness. Mm -hmm. 
philosophy, the philosophy that is against Vaishnavas, that is actually contrary to Vaishnavas. When that philosophy becomes strong, then the Vedas were divided into four parts: Rugveda, Sam, Vedas. Also, this is one kind. That class was Hansa. Yes. Four classes. This, uh, I would say, uh, their social divisions huh? or the occupational duties huh? that were created. So basically, there are four spiritual divisions of society. So, uh, um, four divisions of the society: huh? Brahman, Vaishnav, the divisions, and the spiritual divisions are just uh, sannyas like this. Huh? So when the opinion which is against the Vaishnava philosophy became strong, slowly as we were divided into four parts, the West family is a very other way. And when the anti vaishnava philosophy was propagated, then the Hamsa class were well, four uh, classes based on one's occupational duties, a Brahman, Shatri, Vaishya, Shudra. In the beginning, the class of the swan like class, Hansa Jati, they were residing on the shore of Kashram. Kashram means the lake of eight progenitor Kashyapurushi. And it is known as Caspian Sea. Mm. So, Caspian Sea, the word can come, the Nepasha. Nepasha is actually a great generator of the mankind. So, um, that time, that swan like class of came to be known as Arja or Arian, understand? Arja. Mm. Agri, so, actually, in India, a woman would never address her husband as, uh, oh, my dear, uh, this and that. No. She will say, Arya Putra. Hmm. Rather than also addressing, like Putra. Arya Putra, Smarta, Putra, Gihan, Samma, Dhanusha, Gopan, Kajiravi, Kintirinam, Gunate, Bhujamogor, Sugandam, Murdha, Dhasat, Kadam. Arya Putra. The husband or beloved is always addressed as Ari Putra. Son of a respectable gentleman. Father in law is called Arja, and son of that respectable gentleman, the father in law, called Arputra. Upasana ke text which I have said, Vishnu Pata Kupi Ulane Vaisai Samja. Certain areas, this are people, the sun, we, we worship the fire god, Agni. The worship of Vishnu is also like the worship of fire. There is a class of people living in India, they are called Zoroastrians. Zoroastrians, they are worshipping the fire god. So they created on Iran, and I think Shivaji Maharaj or maybe the king of Junagar. Allowed them to stay in India, but they adopted. They dress like India. They wear sari, but they are known as pars. The company called Tata, Godrej, Pars. Huh? They are called Iranis also. Murti Iran is married to such Parsi person. Hmm? This is a very rich person. So they worship the fire god, hmm. but. Not that the worship of is same as the worship of Vishnu. Vishnu Sarveshwari. Vishnu is superior than all the demigods. So Vishnu is Swatantra Ishwar ka ke rooks or Umupasana and Damits of Devata Vista Adi Dekhne ko meet him. But they thought the original meaning that these deeds like the wind god, Vayu, 
the fire the the so the one who showers the rain and has the rights on aira vata and who has vajra in his hand so there you know with this their glorification was in the with the guru is there there are many sutras there are many eulogies and prayers to different deities and their worship is propagated mm-hmm. भागवत is some book which is actually a book of religion written in the medieval times misconstrue that bhagavatam is not a timeless book of wisdom and devotion rather take it to be a new uh, uh, recent origin which manifested in medieval times so that is not the case ekayan paddhati roop shrimad bhagavat ki ek matra उपनिषद में एकायन महाभारतायन महाभारत पंचरात्र दीज वर्ड आर यूज भगवत के प्राक इतिहास अर्थात प्राक वैदिक युग के इतिहास की आलोचना करने पर जाना जाता है कि रुक वेद के पहले की मानव जाति सभ्य उपासक थी सो इफ यू स्टडी द एंशंट हिस्ट्री ऑफ श्रीमद भागवत यू नो दैट इवन बिफोर द रुक वेद मैनिफेस्टेड मैन काइंड वॉज वर्शिपिंग विष्णु वो यहां पथावलंबी होकर सहज विष्णु भक्ति अर्थात अथवा उष्णता की विचार में प्रतिष्ठित थी so that was following that uh, vishnu vaishnava what is the quality of vaishnava they surrender to vishnu hmm. so when they were naturally engaged okay eta karma mein sthan sthan par ek vich प्रोपगेटेड So in the beginning, Satvat means Bhagavan means Satvat means devotees. This is a book meant for the care of devotees. Satvat is not Bhagavan. Varman is the ekayan ki baat of vilupta hai, a prime of that. But in the present history, they don't talk so much about ekayan. प्रचु परिणाम के आधार पर जाना जाता है कि प्राक वैदिक युग में भक्ति की कथा के चरित्र में कोई कथा नहीं थी बट इफ यू डी एनालाइज इफ यू डू इंटेंस रिसर्च देन यू सी दैट इन द एंशंट डिफरेंस देयर नो नेशन सेवन सेंस ऑफ द विष्णु भक्ति सर्विस टू विष्णु वाज ओनली टॉपिक दैट वाज डिस्कस्ड इन द एंशंट वैदिक टाइम्स as we discussed the past tense of vishnu that is the gyan and other practices actually we shouldn't think that in our country you know, uh only buddhist tradition you know, probably in our desh mein 
the persons who are endowed with the nest of a devote, they used to dis what they used to trust. Or you should trust them. Puraniya Pancharatra ke antaka Prim Vaidha Shimad Bhagavad Naak ko sikod ne ki kunti dhari ki vorsi. So what is Shimad Bhagavad? Shri Bhagavad, Shimad Bhagavad is a natural commentary on Vedanta. And it is a part of a Puran. There are 18 Puranas and one of the topmost Puranas, one of the Puranas is the topmost one is Shimad Bhagavad. Shimad Bhagavatam is included within Pancharatra, five branches of knowledge within the Puranas. So one should not feel disgust when someone mentions the Shimad Bhagavatam. One should not hate or despite Bhagavatam. Hmm. Uh, have disgust for Bhagavatam. Actually, Srimad Bhagavatam was spoken by the great sage called uh, Srimad Bhagavate Mahamuni Kriti Kimba Pare Ishwara Sadyoya Druvudhate Atta Kutivi Shushri Vita Khanat. So, Mahamuni, Srimad Bhagavate Mahamuni Kriti. Who has given us Srimad Bhagavatam? It is the great sage Narayan Rushi. As we know in Badrikashram, there is twins. Uh, two sons of great say dharma. That is why they go birth to twins. One is Nara and Narayan. Actually, Arjun is Nara, Krishna is Narayan. Mm -hmm. But this great lives in Bhatrika Shram. He gave this Srimad Bhagavad Samhita, this Satwat Samhita, this Paramahansa Samhita to Muni. Narad Muni gave it to his disciple Sri Vedam, who is an incarnation of Krishna, Krishna Dharapal Vedara. And Vedara again gave it to Narad it to Sri Shukdev Goswami. Sri Krishna Dharapal and Vedavaya Ji ne usse Shishya Param me alochana ke liye Garantha ke akar me Later on, Shri Krishna Dvaipayana Vedas. It's called Shri Krishna Dvaipayana. It's called Shri Krishna because Vedavyas is incarnation of Krishna. It's called Dvaipayana because he was born in the middle of an island in Yamuna through Parashat and his mother Satyavati. So Krishna Dvaipayana Vedavyas, sir. He wanted that his disciples, grand disciples, grand disciples in the different situation. This exalted Puran should be discussed. Therefore, he compiled this book in the shape of a scripture. Bhagavatam is the compilation of Srila Vedavyas. Srimad Bhagavat ke Shamya Pras Ashram me, Shri Vyasadev ke Shamya Pras Ashram me, Srimad ka adhivation hua tha. There was the first conference uh, of Bhagavatam. Ishila Vasudev's ashram. What is the meaning of the word ashrama? Ashrama means a place where one exerts oneself for elevation of one's consciousness. When one tries to achieve transcendental consciousness, whether staying in household life, Rasta ashram, or renounced ashram, sannyas or vanaprastha. So whether you are staying in household life or whether you are living in the renounced order of life, Try to make your home or your mother into an ashram. Huh? So Vasudeva also a householder, not a sannyasi. He was married to Vitika Devi and he had a son by the name Shukdeva Goswami. But you'll see that Bhagavan Vedavyas in his ashrama, he directed Srimad Bhagavad in his conference. So Shukdeva Goswami also discussed Srimad Bhagavatam in his so after this first conference, which was attended by very vast, Sri Shukti Goswami and Sutta Goswami and other great series, this very particular book is known as Bhagavatam. In the past, we have to say that 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 we have if we discuss the history, then we'll see that 
Bhagavad is known as Paramaha Samhita. Uh, the scripture meant for topmost swan like devotees. It is called Satva Samhita. The scripture meant for the welfare of pure devotees of Krishna. Many, there are many people in this world who don't accept Shimadha as a Purana or as a part of Pancharatra. But you'll see that Shimad Bhagavatam is a combination of Agama and Nigama. Hmm. So Shimad Bhagavatam is the confluence of two tributaries, Agama and Nigama. So you'll see both Agama and Nigama combined in Shimad Bhagavatam. Discussing Shivad Bhagavatam, then in the fourth third of the first canto, we'll see one word, Satvati Shruti. So when the great sage Sri Narayan Rishi narrated Shivad Bhagavatam to Narayan, then this particular book came to be known as Veda Sadmita. जिस प्रकार श्रोत पद्धति का अवलंबन करने वाले कर्म कांडे विचुर, there are some sages who follow the path of fruitive activities, कर्म कांडे, and they follow the Vedic injunctions, but their aim and object is some fruitive desire. And they say that there are some scriptures, ordinary scriptures with glorified demigods, and these कर्म कांडे ब्राह्मणस the Brahmanas who are the sages who are fruity workers, basically, and fruity desires, they regard these prayers of the demigods, which bestow material desires to be Vedas. This is these prayers are nothing but Vedas. Usi Pekar Satvak Dhanane Bhagavat ko Vedita Sarvatta Mahusha Kata Sripa. Right. The devotees know that Bhagavatam is the essence of the Vedas. What does essence mean? For example, you have 200, uh, 200 kilos or 500 kilos not, uh, the rose petals. But if you distill those rose petals, then you get this which is only a 10 ml. The 10 ml rose essence is worth thousands of. So, like that, the essence of the Vedas is. Uh, the Shrimad Bhagavatam. For example, when you boil the milk and then settle yogurt out of it and then churn the yogurt, you get ghee, butter, and then boil the butter, you get ghee. First fraction, the top essence of the milk, so like that, the topmost essence of all the very scriptures is Shrimad Bhagavatam. Provision Tattva Ka Nirupan Karte Samae Nima Kalpatra Galitam Phalam Shrimad Bhagavatam 1.1.3 Shlok Me Nigam Shabda Ka Vivar Hua Hai So what is the goal of human life? Krishna Prem, that's called Provision Tattva. So while narrating Provision Tattva, Shla Veda Vyas has spoken of us, Nigam Kalpatra Galitam Phalam. What is the meaning of the word Nigam? So the word Nigam has been used here. इसके अतिरिक्त भागवत में उपनिषदों के अनेक मंत्र यथार्थ रूप में देखें। You see that whatever mantras are there in the Upanishads, like Katha Upanishad, Kena Upanishad, Isha Vasu, they some mantras of these Upanishads are seen verbatim in Shrimad Bhagavatam. भागवत में स्थान स्थान पर सुधी बात के लिखे गए हैं। so the words of Vedas and Upanishads are mentioned in Shrimad Bhagavatam at every place. Shruti ki pranjal vyakcha ki leke and a very clear, clear and pure definition, explanation of the Vedas is given in Shrimad Bhagavatam. For example, Garur Puran. One of the Sari Puranas, glorified Shrimad Bhagavatam as follows. Arthoyam Brahma Sutranam, Bharata Artha Vinirnaya, Ayatri Bhasha Uposo Vedartha, Paribhum Gita. 
you can see that the special meaning of Bhagavad Gita is also present in Bhagavatam. Yeah, Brahma Sutra ka bhashya swarup hai. Means, Shrimad Bhagavatam is a spotless commentary on Vedan Sutra. Full of the meanings of the Vedas. And this compiled by giving a comment on the matter that Gayatri Devi is called the mother of all the Vedas. And the explanation of Vedamata Gayatri hmm, uh, is given in this particular script. This script is given in the Bhagavad Gita Kathak So, this particular scripture talks about the quality of Krishna as a body of Godhead. So every place Krishna and his incarnations have been disguised as the personalities of Godhead. Shri Krishna ke atiritta anyan yautara ka varnan bhi isme kiya gaya hai. Shri Bhagavatam not only describes Krishna's pastimes in the 10th canto, but also describes pastimes of his other incarnations like Ram in the 9th canto. I think in 6th canto you'll see history of Narsingha Dev. You will see the history of Varaha Dev, you will see the history of Vaman Dev, you will see the history of Pashuram. All the incarnations, uh, their history has been given, even Dapta incarnation, uh, Narnarayan incarnation, incarnation of four Kumaras. Uh, all these histories are given to Srimad Bhagavatam. इस श्रीमद् भागवत के विषय में विभिन्न शास्त्रों में लिखा गया है। Different type of scriptures discuss the glories of श्रीमद् भागवतम। ऐसे स्कंद पुराण में विष्णु खंड में चार अध्याय। For example, there is one पुराण पर स्कंद पुराण। इस स्कंद पुराण there is one section called विष्णु section, विष्णु खंड। Four chapters of this स्कंद पुराण in विष्णु section are direct to the motion of glorification of Srimad Bhagavatam. In the second part of Padma Puran, Uttar Khand, Padma Puran, and also in Gurur Puran and some other Puranas, the promise, the greatness, the dominance of Bhagavad glories are described. The Bhagavatam has been recorded in all the Puranas as the topmost Puranas. So, Sarvapari Bhagavat ke anugat sampradhar isse praman shirovani kar. Those who are fully dedicated to them regard Srimad Bhagavatam as the topmost evidence, the crest jewel of all the evidence. When you, when you propagate any principle, then you have to give the evidence about the validity of the spiritual principle. And the topmost proof is Srimad Bhagavatam. Srimad Bhagavatam Vivinna Tikai There are different commentaries on Srimad Bhagavatam Jyoti Anugat hai unhe ek prakar ki unhone ek prakar ki vyakhya ki aur jinhone Chetan Dev ki kata shravan nahi ki hai unki vyakhya karne ki shaili hi dusri prakar ki Those who have heard those who follow Chetan Mahaprabhu their style of Discussing Bhagavatam is different. And all the pastimes of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu explain the meanings of Bhagavatam in a different manner. You know, Sri Chaitanya Dev ki katha nahi suni hai. Jinke nikat Chaitanya Dev ka anugra purna matra mein nahi pohucha hai, Bhagavat ka rajana kos nahi samaj paayi hai. I've not heard the pastimes of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And those who have not understood the commentary of Bhagavatam, uh, they cannot understand Shiva properly. Unke dwara Bhagavatam sati karmaadli means they cannot properly translate the meanings of Shiva Bhagavatam. Shiva Bhagavatam ki anubat vishra ka poshan karne wale anek granta hai. Yatashi Rupa Goswami Krut Lagu Bhagavatam Krutam. 
So there are many books which follow in the footsteps of Shiva Bhagavatam. Shiva Bhagavatam has given us the utmost philosophy. And there are some books who are very closely related, very intimately related with the Bhagavad philosophy. And one such book is Sri Rupa Goswami's Lagu Bhagavatam Muta. Bhagavad is, com- Bhagavad is compared to the ocean of milk, then just, just like by আমার ব্যাগে প্লেট আছে So if Bhagavatam is compared to the milk ocean, then by just like by channeling this milk ocean, how the nectar of immortality comes. So like that, Lagu Bhagavatam is the nectar of immortality emanating from the channeling of the milk ocean of Srimad Bhagavatam. Apart from that, Sri Sanatana Goswami wrote a book called Dhrat Bhagavatam Muttam. He is also having three books and two cantos. This also is very closely related to the teachings of Srimad Bhagavatam. In the Jiva Goswami part, he wrote Shat Sandarbha, the seven titis, uh, Priti Sandarbha, Bhagavad Sandarbha, and those six reference books called Sandarbhas, they are also closely related to Srimad Bhagavatam. Srimad Vishnath Chiri Thakur Prat Sarar Tata Singh Tika. Srimad Vishnath Chiri Thakur is Rasa Charja. विश्वस्यनाथ रूप से एक कथा ऑनलाइन क्लास है ग्लासेस ग्लासेस है हां तो विश्वनाथ जी ठाकुर लिखे ही हैज रिटन सारा तदशी लिखी का दिस पर्टिकुलर कमेंट्री ऑन भागवतम रिटन बाय श्री विश्वनाथ जी ठाकुर इज आल्सो क्लोज रिलेटेड टू श्रीमद् भागवतम एंड आल्सो श्री बलदेव विद्याभूषण हैज रिटन कमेंट्री on the 10th canto. So, all of these commentaries should have a simple life. Well, all of us of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Hare Krishna. So, we'll stop here today. And we'll, uh, I think we'll have Jaiva Dharma class. So, tomorrow there is some program in Kolkata. We are in travel. So, let's see how we can uh, uh, conduct, I will let Vishakha you know uh, if he can come online tomorrow, uh, because uh, tomorrow we'll be in some other place. Uh, uh, so I thank you from the core of my heart. Hare Krishna. One chartal pasaru vaishya krupa sindhu vyo japaridhanam pavane vyo vaishna vyo vyo namo namo. Hare Krishna. Hi Krishna Maharaj, thank you very much for the lightning class Maharaj. Shishi Guru Gauranga, Kandar Vika Giri Dari, Radha Vinod, Bihari Ji Ki Jai. Om Vishnu Paru Stotra Sata Shri Mat Bhakti Vrinda Vishnu Deti Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai. Om Vishnu Paru Stotra Sata Shri Mat Bhakti Vrinda Dandi Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai. Iti Ne Pravishtu Om Vishnu Paru महाराज की Nitile Pravishta Shishila Sachi Dananda Bhakti Vinota Kurki Jay, Nitile Pravishta Vishnava Sarva Boma, Shri Shira Jaganadas Baba Ji Maharaj Kiji, Shri Gaudiya Vedanta Achara Shishila Balade Vidya Bhusha Prabhu Kiji, Srila Vishwana Chakravati Thakur Kiji, Srila Narutam Shiniva Shama and the Prabhu Tri Kiji, Srila Krishna's Kavraj Goswami Prabhu Kiji, Shri Rupa Sanatana Bata Gunashi Ji, Gopal Badas the Gunat, Sad Goswami Prabhu Kiji, Shri Sarup Damudashi Ramaran Dai Ji, Shri Gora Prasad Nikiji, Namachara Shri Ramidas Thakur Kiji, 
प्रेम से कहो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद शेठ भेद गदाधर शिव सती गौरव भक्त वृंद की जय श्री अंतर द्वीप श्रीमंत द्वीप गोद्रम द्वीप मध्य द्वीप कोला द्वीप ऋतु द्वीप जानु द्वीप मोद्र ध्रुम द्वीप रुदी पत्मकार श्री नवदीप धाम की जय श्री श्री राधा कृष्ण गोपा गोपी गो गोवर्धन द्वारज मन प्रकार श्री व्रज मंदल की जय श्री राध कुंड श्याम कुंड गंगा यमुना प्लासी भक्त देवी की जय श्री मती वृंग देवी की जय श्री पूर्णमास योग माय की जय श्री गोपीश्वर महादेव की जय श्री जगन्नाथ बलदेव सुभद्रा सुदर्शन चक्र जीव की जय श्री क्षेत्र मंदल की जय सर्व विघ्न विनाशकारीव की जय भक्त प्रवास प्रहलाद महाराज की जय चार धाम की जय चार संप्रदाय की जय चार चार की जय अखर मत राज श्री चैतन्य मार्ग की जय श्री श्री केशव जी गौर्य मार्ग ओ तत्सक मत सम की जय ग्रंथ राशि मत भागवतम की जय चारी नाम संकीर्तन की जय अनंत कोति वैष्णव वृंद की जय साम भक्त वृंद की जय श्री नेता गौर प्रेम हरि हरि बोल